Today we are going to be talking about functions in Python. <clears throat> so what is a function? A function is a block of code or group of code that is executed as a group and then can be reused across different parts of your program. I'll just remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so, so that you get updates when I make new lessons. So as I was saying, the easiest way to understand a, 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 a function in Python is simply to write a function. So I'm going to write a function. This function is going to perform certain operation and then uh, we can then use this function. So this function is going to print out whatever it is given to the output. So let me write it and then we explain. So to write a function, you use the DEF keyword followed by the function name. I'm calling the function name to be show test, and it takes uh, it, it takes test. All right. So what this function is going to do is that whatever test that is here will be printed to the output. So I'm going to just say print test. Okay. And then. I can now run this file and everything is fine. Okay, so this function have will take a value and then print it out to the output. Let me write another function so that we we, are, we keep getting used to functions uh, in Python. I'm going to write a function that takes two numbers and calculate the sum of these two numbers. So the EF uh, sum num1 and num2 and this function is going to say sum is equal to num1 plus num2 and that is fine okay so I've written two functions one of them is show test and the other one is sum so I'm going to now call the first function to use a function you need to call it so if I call it I'm going to pass in parameter so what is a parameter a parameter is a piece of item that is given to a function so in this case the function name is show test and inside the braces I have uh, this variable called test so what it means is that this function for it to be used it needs to be given uh, this variable called test and this function written here is called a parameter now when I'm going to call this function for instance show test I'm going to now pass it an argument which corresponds to the parameter or the value of the parameter that it requires so when you give the value of the parameter it is called an argument so let's just say welcome or let's say good evening so I'm calling this function with the argument good evening and if I run this code it runs the function and displays good evening in the same way if I call the function sum I want you to observe what is going to happen let's say we give it two numbers for the five and two I want it to sum it so if I call it and run this code it now says no okay this I'm going to this is num1 plus num2 so it's complaining because num2 is not defined here so everything runs fine so this function called sum I've called it and it runs fine but what we actually need is to for it to give us the sum of these two numbers so um, even if I say print And I run this function it still does not give us anything the reason is because for a function to be able to give a, a value back to the code that is calling it it needs to have a return statement so it means return statement tells the function after you complete your work return this value to the caller or to the piece of program or piece of code that is calling you or that is trying to use you so we simply say return 
sum. So at this point, this function is now complete. If it completes the operation, it returns a uh, value to the color. So when I call this function sum, it will have the return value, which is the addition of the two numbers. Now at this point, if it runs, it gives us the correct value. All right, so I'm going to explain something to you. Uh, this is a very important topic in programming, and I need you to pay attention to it. And that is passing parameters by value and by reference. Remember, we say that parameter is a piece of variable that a function needs to work with, right? So when we say when we say def sum num1 num2, so num1 and num2 they are parameters to the function. So I'm going to explain what it means to pass a parameter by reference or to pass a parameter by value. When you call a function and you give it a parameter or arguments by reference, it means that you are passing a reference to the particular object and not the actual values of that object. So that object exists in memory and you are passing a reference to it. So if this function makes some changes, it actually will change the value of that object wherever it is. Even in the main program, the value will also change. And that's what, that is what it means passing by reference. Let's illustrate how passing by reference works. I'm going to call a function that says, the name of this function, I'm going to call it modify list. Uh, this function is going to modify a list and is going to be by reference. I'm going to pass it a list by reference and it's going to modify it. And then we are going to see that that modification will reflect in the main program. So let's say modify list. And we are given a list one. Okay, so, so what it's going to do to this list is going to add some additional values to this list. So Let's say list one dot append. So let's say we append hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. So this list here is what the function will require to work with. And now let's print out the value of this list. Print. Let's just say print list one. Okay. Let me just be a little creative. The list is now right. So this is what I want to I want to do. So we are trying to take a list, modify it, and then print out the modified list to the output. Then put a return statement with an empty, uh, without giving it anything. So let's run this code and see that everything is okay. So everything is quite okay. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call this function from a program and then pass it a list. So I create a list, list one equals, let's say, let's say um two, four, six, eight. So take note of what is going to happen here. So this is list one, right? Good. So when this program this program executes, what happens is list one is created. Now if I call this function I'm going to give it list one. List one. I'm going to call modify list, and I'm going to give it list one, right? So, and I'm going to then print. Uh, print list one. List one. So what is happening here is that. When I call this function, when I call this function modify list and give it list one, it's going to modify list one, right? And then when it when you are printing list one here, 
is going to print out the modified list. So this list one we are given it is is being given to it or is being passed to it by reference. So it's the same list one in memory that it is going to modify in its body here. So permit me to just be a little creative again. Let me just say the list now is plus okay the 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 list is now all right so hopefully everything will be fine so we are going to see what is going to happen after we run this code um must be string and not list okay so let's just convert to string str str so the same here str okay str okay i'm converting to list all right so if i go ahead to print we see what is happening here and the first stage we have the function print out the modified list right now when you come back to the main program you have this list one created when when this function is called modify list it is going to modify the same list one that is in memory you see it is, it's, you are creating a new list here and this function is going to modify this list so while this function have its own list is modifying is in the body this is not a different list it is the same list that is a memory that is being modified. So what you are passing to the to this function as a parameter is passed by reference. You are passing a reference to the list in memory, and that is what it mean, we mean by pass passing parameters by reference. I've run out of time, so I'm going to discuss passing parameters by value in the next tutorial. I'd like to thank you for viewing. And remember to leave a comment if this has been informative for you.